be to Jesus Christ dear children this whole year we are learning about our almighty god the source of divine life and how he invites each one of us to have that divine life with him today we will learn the remaining part of chapter 7 commandments the way of life my dear children let us start our class with a small prayer i want all of you to keep your back straight join your hands and close your eyes please repeat after me dear god in whom we trust thank you for protecting us from all dangers of day and night help us to lead a life following your commandments amen before we start this lesson let us have a quick recap of what we learned in the previous class you all remember what we learned children yes god chose moses to liberate israelites from the slavery of egypt when pharaoh refused to set the israelites free from their slavery god punished the egyptians how by sending 10 different plague to teach them a lesson under the leadership of moses the people of israel the israelites who were living in egypt they came out of egypt and started their journey to canaan when the israelites reached the shore of red sea the soldiers of pharaoh came behind them for what to take them back to egypt god commanded moses to stretch out his hands towards the red sea and what happened the waters moved to both the sides the israelites had been traveling in the desert for about 3 months and finally they reached mount sinai when moses went up to mount sinai to pray god spoke to moses and told him to inform the israelites to get ready moses came down to tell the people to have a bath to clean all their clothes and get ready on the third morning after moses had spoken to god there was a large rumble and a flash of light over the mountain just over the mountain there was a lightning and thunder and what happened a thick cloud hung over the mountain even the mountain shook and the sound of the trumpet could be heard everywhere it was just getting louder and louder this time when the moses went back to the mountain he stayed there for 40 days and nights god wanted to instruct the people on how to live by following his rules they would have less sadness in their lives god wanted to protect and ensure that they led a good life by following certain rules in their lives so we saw how god gave the 10 commandments to his people through moses and when we obey the commandments of god we become the dearest children of him yes my dear children let us continue our class with the remaining part of lesson 7 commandments the way of life i want all of you to pay attention okay that's like my good children god gave 10 commandments to the people of israel through moses who was moses their leader children do you know what were those 10 commandments yes 
Yeah, the Ten Commandments goes like this. The first commandment. I am the Lord your God. You shall have no other God but me. What does this mean? This teaches us that we should believe that there is only one God who is worthy of worship. This means that nothing should be more important than our God. Maybe a hobby you enjoy, a television program or a video game, even your friends and your family should not be more important than God to you. You all got it children? Yes. Now the second commandment, you shall not take the name of the Lord your God in vain. This commandment teaches us that God's name should be honored and respected. Many people use God's name carelessly or just say it when they are upset. God wants us to use his name when we are talking to him or telling others about him in a very nice way. To use his name casually is very, very disrespectful and it hurts God in a very bad way. Now the third commandment, you shall keep the Sabbath day very holy. God wants us to take one day of the week and have a rest. When God made world in six days, he rested on the seventh day. This commandment teaches us that one day a week, known as Sabbath, should be set aside to spend with God. The Christian Sabbath is Sunday. And on this day, we all go to church and spend time with our families in a very nice way. The fourth commandment, you shall honor your father and your mother. This teaches us to love and respect our parents. My dear children, sometimes you get upset and very frustrated. Why? Because your parents don't let you do something which you really want to do. My dear children, always remember that your parents were also once kids just like you and they just try to keep you safe from making the same mistake they have done already. Now, which is the next commandment? Tell me. Yes, you are right. The next commandment is the fifth one. You shall not kill. This commandment teaches us that only God should have the power to end a human life. No one should kill others. We should not even hurt anybody with your words, your thoughts and your actions. Please keep that in mind, children. The sixth commandment, you shall not commit adultery. This commandment teaches us that a married person should not have a relationship with anyone except the person to whom they are married to. God tells us to be faithful in marriage. He wants us to love our wife or husband and treat them with respect and love. Now let us see the seventh commandment. You shall not steal. This commandment teaches us that we should not take anything that do not belong to you. Or we should not steal others things. This means that we should not take something that belongs to someone else. Now let us see the eighth commandment. You shall not bear false witnesses against your neighbor. This commandment teaches us that we should be truthful and do not tell lies. 
it is always better to tell the truth and while you are at it don't do anything which make you say lie usually parents know when you are lying anyway and if you don't get caught god sees and hears everything god is watching us all the time children so never tell a lie now let us see the ninth commandment you shall not covet your neighbor's wife this commandment teaches us that we should not be jealous of what someone else has now let us see the 10th commandment you shall not covet your neighbor's goods this commandment teaches us that we should be content and happy and satisfied with what god has given us and do not focus on the wealth and position of others jesus christ taught his disciples that 10 commandments can be contained in two they are first one you shall love the lord your god above all the second one you shall love your neighbor as yourself my dear children god's commandments are our perfect way to lead a good life we must obey these commandments so that we will grow in divine life let us learn them keep them in our mind and move along the path of life beautifully now it is activity time i know that you all are very excited to do this activity you can do it as homework okay so pay attention for this activity i want all of you to take a chart paper draw an outline of your hand on the chart paper as you can see in the picture on every finger write one commandment you can see in the picture how you are supposed to write it on the top of the picture i want all of you to write the 10 commandments make it as beautiful as possible put all your creativity in it you can take your help of your parents your siblings and finish it take a picture of it and send it to your catechism teacher before you come for the next class i also want you to stick this chart paper in front of your study table so that you can read it every day and reflect on it now let us conclude our class with a short prayer i want all my dear children to join your hands close your eyes dear lord help us to understand your commandments and follow it help us to lead a life in faith amen my dear children i shall see all of you in the next class with the eighth lesson praise be to jesus christ